All right, guys, Georgia Guardian here out at the Oconee County Jail and Sheriff's Office to conduct the First Amendment audit. Just wanted to look at a couple things here. There's the entrance there. Looks like that may be the jail. Let me look at something over here. Because I don't know why they would need this. Unless there's some type of militant group or something. But look at this. They don't have it, but their sheriff's office on there, but I'm guarantee it's theirs. I don't know why he would need that. And this where we be. This is an older car here. And these appear to be some some cars that they've took in. Repossessed. Got a And jail entrance. So that's the outside. I think that's the jail over there, but not really sure. And then we have a lobby. Not a very big lobby, but have a lobby here.
go back there because it's authorized personnel only. So. Uh -oh. Somebody's called on me already. Good, how are you? Can I help you? I'm just videoing. Okay. Yeah. Do you mind if I ask uh, what your purpose is? Well, what's your name and fashion? My, my name is prominently displayed on my Lieutenant. shirt here. So I'm asking, can I help you with anything? I'm just working on content for a story and just kind of okay. looking around. All right. What's your name? Uh, I don't give my name out. Okay. Well, that's fine. Yeah, I'm just gathering content for a story and just looking around. All right. So y'all can understand that. I don't understand why somebody is not willing to give me their name, but that's I, fine. I've I mean, got other means of determining who that yeah, is. As long as I'm not breaking the law or anything, I don't think I have and to give I my name. You, have crime, sir? you haven't, but uh, you're asking me my name. I don't have to give you my name unless I broke a law. You're absolutely right. That's right. So I'll be on about my business. <clears throat> Just getting a little video. And okay. Well, you're welcome to do that. Is your, bad, is your uh, body camera on? It is. Okay. I'm recording you just like you're recording me. Good. So we're both recording. Yes, sir. Which is totally legal, right? Again, have I accused you of any crime? No, I'm just saying it's, it's totally legal to a uh, video, right? We're stating the obvious, aren't we? We are. You know, you should be a little nicer to people that... Uh, well, you're asking me why I'm recording, which you, you're able to do, but I don't have to answer why I'm recording. But I, I thought I was very cordial and told you why I was I recording. I was very cordial, too. I asked you if I could help you, and you not, you declined to give me any information. So so you can go on about your business. I am about my business, sir. So your business is <clears throat> watching somebody with a video camera? My business is the Oconee County Jail. Okay? Uh -huh. And you were at the Oconee County Jail, so... Which is public property, correct? It is. Right. And, and have, I, have I made you leave? No, you can't make me leave, but... Okay. I just don't understand what the big issue is. If there is no big issue. Okay. And what would you say your badge number was? My badge number is 3315. 3315. All right, well, I'm going to go on outside and finish my story. All right. And, uh... Get out I hope you, uh, hope you have a good story. I hope I do too. Hey, can you advise which vehicle he came in? So why are you, why are you interested in my vehicle? Sir, I'm, I'm not answering any more of your questions, okay? You're being hostile. And hostile? I'm not going to participate in this charade that you're trying to produce. I just asked a question. You asked me. I mean, you're a public servant. I'm yes, not a sir. public servant. You're absolutely right. So I think you should be able to answer questions from... I don't from... have to answer your questions, okay? You... There's no law that I'm breaking by not answering it's your, your questions. It's your policy. You've, you've got a copy of my policy. I do, actually. Okay. Well, it's, you show me in my policy it's your where policy. I have to answer all of your questions, and I'll answer them, okay? Because I can tell you that's not there. Okay. Well, I you... do not have to answer all of your questions, okay? I have tried to help you, and you have refused to let me help you. Right? I don't need any help, Joe. Okay, then that's fine. I've asked you who you are. You refuse to give me that information. So I'm going to use other means to determine who you are because it's abnormal for people to come in here in a hostile manner and record things, okay? Is it illegal, though? It is not illegal. So why are you... If I detained you, you're free to go. And we'll I'm... continue with your story, So if I'm sir. free to go, I'm free to stay. <clears throat> okay, then stay, okay? But I'm going to disengage from you right now because I have no further desire to communicate with you if you're not going to communicate with me. But why are you being so mean and rude? I'm not being mean and rude. I'm being very blunt and matter of fact, okay? Hmm. And if that's rude to you, then I'm sorry, okay? Do you treat those guys in there uh, like that? Like you're treating the public? I don't know what you're talking about. Do the I treat what the inmates in there like you treat the public? You know what? I guess you'll just have to wonder, won't you? I guess so. Hey, you have a good day. All right, guys, so you, as you can see, we got a tyrant at the Oconee County Sheriff's Office. Complete tyrant who doesn't know how to engage with the public. 
sure I'll leave their contact number and information uh, in the description and So he's trying to identify me through tag numbers and things of that nature. But I'll leave a link in the description that way you can contact the sheriff on his attitude and his demeanor towards the public. Who's, Sir, I'm happy to help you. How can I help you? I don't need any How help. Can I help you? So I'll leave that link in the description. You can call the sheriff and complain to him on his attitude towards the public. So now he's going to follow me around the back here. He was actually very nice. He actually came out and gave me his name and badge number, but he said it was abnormal for someone to be hostile and to uh, ask for uh, to be recording on public property. So as you can see now, he's trying to get license plates, numbers, and things of that nature. And stuff like that so he's still trying to <laughs> get my name and all that good stuff so this is where we are. As you can see, he was very rude and because of public photography. So, you know, it is what it is, but we'll walk over here on this side. And video, which is still public property. Nothing he can do about it. They get so upset with you in here recording their video, their cars and their lobby and things of that nature. So you know, it is what it is. Buckle up. So I'm actually gonna have to get out of here. Oh, I think that's over there. The authorized personnel only, because it has an arrow, so. So can't go over there because it's actually authorized. But I can record from here, so. Oh, 
So they went back inside. So, actually says authorized personnel only. There's an arrow there, so I could say that that's up there, but it may be here. Not really sure. But it says authorized personnel only, so. Not really sure. So I won't push it too far. But yeah, he was very hostile. Over a video, somebody out videoing and Because I didn't want to give him my name. He was just very, very rude. And these are the public servants that are supposed to serve and protect and keep us safe. And they don't know how to deal with the public. And they're very rude at times. Not all of them, but some of them are very, very rude. And... Don't know how to treat the public because he was very hostile. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a very big problem, I believe, when you can have nothing but a video camera and a tripod, which I have, and want to... Uh, engage someone partic participating in a First Amendment protected activity and think is that it's strange and odd that you record public servants when they record you. So, I don't know where they get some of these people from. Obviously, he's been doing it a long time. He's a lieutenant, so he should know how to engage the public. And the crazy thing about it is they're recording us. So. It's just very, very odd on why they can record us, but we can't record them in their official capacity. It's suspicious. So, one more time and we're about to get out of here and just wanted to see how the uh they would react react to recording in public and recording their sheriff's office and jail or our sheriff's office in jail is not theirs it belongs to the taxpayers and if a taxpayer wants to walk in something that they pay money for to um, see what's going on, then it shouldn't be sus deemed suspicious. But obviously, for that lieutenant, it is deemed suspicious. So this is where we are, Oconee County Law Enforcement Center. There's a jail here. There is a patrol division here and some of this is um some of this is pub, um, authorized personnel only so i don't know exactly what because there's an error on that sign and then there's so i won't push it but um definitely wanted to let you guys see how these public servants act it's a fail the oconee county Sheriff's office is a fail. 
and I will leave a link to the in the description for their contact information. And maybe you guys will leave a review or call the sheriff or something and and let them know how their public servants act with the public. All right, guys. Georgia Guardian here out at the Oconee County Sheriff's Office. You guys make it a great day. Thanks for watching.